What is the best book you've ever read? East of Eden. Shogun. James Clavel. To Kill a Mockingbird. Endurance. Shackleton's Incredible Voyage. Albert Lansing. The fact that it's true allows it to hit that much harder. Lonesome Dove. I don't think I enjoyed a book more than Foundation by Isaac Asimov. The Hail Mary Project. It's written by the same guy that wrote The Martian. Completely captivating. I was sad when I finished the book and wished that I could read it with new eyes again. Into Thin Air is Brain Candy. June it was so good I read the whole series and then the prequels when they came out. The Brothers Karamazov. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. Easily the coolest book ever. I've read and reread it so many times and I'll keep doing so forever. Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Lies of Locke Lamora. That book just hit all the right notes for me. Fantastic prose. Developed and atmospheric setting. Drama that pulled me in. Humor that had me laughing out loud. Great pacing. Incredibly charismatic and charming characters. It just had it all. I might even like the sequel more. The only thing it did worse was the pacing. Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. Stupid Me keeps letting people borrow it and I've bought it three times now. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas. The Phantom Tollbooth. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. The first time I read it I had to keep stopping and rereading the last paragraph whilst my mind made sense of what I'd just read. I read so much fantasy that is just regurgitations of the same tropes that I don't need to think about it. I understand the concept. I've seen it all before. American Gods felt different and new. I reread it at least once a year for the last 10 years or so and now the characters feel like old friends but I still enjoy it every time. I can't pick just one of these but, The Stormlight Archive, by Brandon Sanderson. Ishmael by Daniel Quinn It really changed the way that I see the world. Slaughterhouse 5. By sheer enjoyment factor, Redwall back when I was in middle school. Nintendo Power V25. Published in June of 1991. It contained a map of every level of Battletoads. Most importantly, Act 1 Part 3, known as the Hoverbike Level. Shit was almost impossible, even with the magazine. I was five at the time. So I didn't read Asterisk it so much as I did look at the pictures with my older brother. Who was eight? We beat the level. We felt like gods among children. It was the best. Pillars of the Earth. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Metamorphosis. East of Eden. One of those books that I simply adored from beginning to end. The Things They Carried. By Tim O'Brien. I had just lived abroad for a couple of years in a highly regimented experience that kept me at some distance from the local population. There were a lot of similarities that I appreciated, and a lot of difference due to his experience being military in nature. But a lot of his thoughts regarding home nailed how I felt, and the idea of real truth getting in the way of story truth feels especially poignant in today's society. Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. It is as far as I'm concerned the top of his writing game. I've read five copies to pieces by now. Lolita would be my pick. So subversive. And how it gets you rooting for such an objectively bad person is quite something. Flowers for Algernon. The Hobbit. Stranger in a Strange Land. The Book Thief. It made me laugh and it made me cry. But most importantly it made me view life very differently. How easy the world is when you don't have to worry about the war.
world of war around you. I've heard equally thousand spended suns and kite runner are very good and both are on my TBR. The stand. The Hyperion Cantos is really damn good. The stand Stephen King. Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. 1984. The Picture of Dorian Gray. Such a compelling read. The Pillars of the Earth. By Ken Follett is quite good. As are its prequel. Sequels. The Passage. By Justin Cronin is also one of my faves. Even the TV adaptation with the Saved by the Bell guy was pretty good. Memoirs of a Geisha or House of Leaves. The Fall by Camus. The last sentence blew me away. Harold and the Purple Crayon. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I read it every couple of years and it's just as amazing. As a young woman, Harper Lee had befriended a successful composer and his wife while working a day job and writing at night. Christmas of 1956. They gave Harper Lee a great present. A year's worth of wages with a note that read, you have one year off from your job to write. Whatever you please. Merry Christmas. What she wrote became her classic novel. They also put her in touch with a literary agent. I hope to be rich enough one day to do this for someone. Watership Down. Have a box of Kleenex nearby.